What is going on everybody? It is Aaron Cates and welcome back to the channel. Now today we are going to be picking up the setup for the Ford. There it is. You guys watched last video, at least I hope you did, of us uh, selling the 40 inch Toyos off the Ford. Now I didn't really go too in depth because I want to make sure the Toyos sold and then when they did sell I didn't want to drag that video on. But if you remember a couple months back I bought those 40 inch Toyos on 20 by 12s for $1,500 and they still had stickers on them. They were brand new, never even been driven on. Still had stickers on them. I sold them for $2,000. I made $500 profit. Now today we're going to buy some 42 inch by 15 by 20 Super Swampers on some 20 by 10s. Only problem with the 20 by 10s is they're 8 by 170, which is super duty look pattern. That is 8 by 6.5 because it has the older axles in it. And I have to go buy some adapters. Luckily, there's a guy like 40 minutes past him that I found that has some adapters, so we don't have to wait for them to get shipped to us. And my plan with these is, is to run them for just a little while, just to use them to make the truck look good, and then flip them again, and try and make some more money out of it, and then use that money that I've made to go buy another setup and keep doing that up the chain. That is what I did with the American Forces on my truck. So I started out with stock wheels, like almost all of you do, and I traded my whole way up. And I bought I bought a setup, and I'd sell it for more, and just kept kept trading with money on top. Uh, most of the time, people added money to trade me. It's just you have to know how to work the people. But the last video I posted of this truck, I said, uh, guess how much I have invested in the American Forces and the 37-inch tires. And a lot of you commented. There's a couple of you that were close, but a lot of you commented really high. And how much I have invested is $750. I traded my 20x14s with $1,000 on top, but like with the Toyos, I had made profit off the Toyos. Um, I had made a lot of profit off trading other people in the past and working my way up. And I had extra money that I had profited off of, so that $1,000 wasn't technically a thousand dollars it was really six hundred dollars because i had made four hundred dollars off of other trades in the past and that's where i got that thousand dollars down to six hundred dollars and then when i traded my 35s for these 37s the only thing i had to pay was mountain balance which was 150 bucks and so that's where it goes into these 37s and these 22 by 14 forces only costing me 750 dollars it's, it's crazy what you can do with trading and patience. I've been trading setups for years. I've had these forces for just over a year now, and it took me a while to get here. But I'm gonna stop talking. We have to go meet this guy, get the setup for the Ford. So I'll catch you guys on the way there. Okay, well, we've got the setup in the back. I apologize, I didn't record anything. I'm trying to rush. Uh, I had a 50 minute drive to go pick up these adapters from where I picked up the tires. And then it's like an hour and change back home but I have to rush to get back home because I'm having groceries delivered. And then after groceries, we're having pizza delivered and they need someone there. And my girlfriend is currently at work, so I have to be there. And it's supposed to get there at four o'clock. It's quarter after two right now. So I got another 30 minutes of driving and then I've got an hour and something back. So I'm trying to rush. I'm sorry I didn't film at the gas station where we picked up the, the Swampers at. But guys, I will tell you right now, the tires are in great shape. They look like they still have, I'd say, about 40% tread, which is really good. It's like 40 to 50% tread. Um, but still really, really good tread. And the rims, they're all right. I wasn't really doing this for the rims. I was going for the tires, and I'm very happy with the tires. If the tires last longer, I might eventually just throw some rims that I like on them. But for now, we're going to run these with the adapters. And I've got another 31 minutes worth of driving, and then we'll have the adapters. I'll try and stop somewhere really quick and show you guys everything, because I know just me driving and talking isn't the best, and this truck's got a really bad exhaust drone, so you guys can't really hear me. So, sorry guys, I'll see you in a little bit. He was loving staring at the truck. He stopped all the way at the back and rode all the way up staring at it. 
As soon as I noticed, I tried to grab the camera, and he's looking at me. Here we go. Well, you guys know how like my saying has now become, well, this isn't going right. Uh, went to get the adapters, and they don't bolt up in the wheels. The guy swears on everything that they are 8 by 6.5 to 8 by 170. Says that he got them and isn't using them anymore. And we're brand new, never been used anything. And I got there. He said, go ahead and try and fit the adapter in the wheel just to make sure they fit. Like this dude is super honest, super cool, really nice guy. And I walk out and go to put it in the wheel and it doesn't fit at all. And he's like, those wheels aren't eight by 170 like the guy I bought them from said. And I was like, well, what are they then? And he's like, if I had to bet they're eight by 6.5, which is what I need uh, because the Ford is eight by one or eight by 6.5. So there's only two other lug patterns that they could be, 8x6.5 or 8x180. And I don't know, it, I'm like really confused right now. I really wish I had a tape measure because I would measure the adapters and I would have measured the, the wheels because I mean the, the guy could be wrong and those could be 8x170 to 8x6.5 adapters and that's why they didn't fit. And he could have it backwards and these could be 8x170 wheels. So. Really, I don't, I don't get to find out until I get home uh, where the truck is and where a tape measure is. I'm not gonna try and put them on the truck. I'm gonna grab a tape measure because I know how to measure wheels. And if they're eight by 6.5, we'll slap them on the truck. If they're eight by 170, we'll have to order some adapters online and they won't be here for another week. It just sucks that I literally drove over an hour out of the way just for something that didn't work that that's like the most frustrating part of it. and the what sucks is not knowing who was wrong um i'll find that out when i get home but it just sucks it's a it's a really cruddy waiting game so i guess um i'll pick you guys up when we get to the house and then i'll show you guys the rims and tires and everything uh, i was gonna stop and show you adapters and all that but adapters didn't work and I mean, there's the tires. You guys see those? Got some swampus. So, sorry, that's about all there is to it. Um, <laughs> I need to make it like a slogan, a sticker, something out of that. that says, "Oh, this ain't right." Because I mean, that's just me. Well, that ain't right. This ain't doing right. So, oh, my phone's spazzing out. All right, well, I'll catch you guys at the house. All right, you guys are gonna look with me first. These are the wheels. Uh, I believe they're TMCs. I think, but like, we're missing one of these little nipple things right there. I don't know if they screw into that or something, but I'm sure we'd probably get replacements if I cared about it. But the Jeep was a rock crawler, so there's little cuts here and there, but I mean, that doesn't get driven down the road very often, so they'll be fine. Uh, they're all pretty equal tread. That one's a little bit lower than that, but they're all pretty pretty similar you can see there's another little cut right here there's a lug missing out of this but it ain't anything that's gonna affect it driving down the road climb up here there's another little cut right here and I'll see if I can set you guys down somewhere you can see all right let's hope that doesn't fall well, they are not 8 by 6.5 I don't know what the hell they are guys Stuff in the middle. Also, I think I think they are eight by one seventy. I think that guy's adapters weren't right, which kind of aggravates me because I drove all the hell out there. Let me look up how many uh, inches is one hundred seventy millimeters because I don't know. It's six point six nine three. That's how many inches one hundred seventy millimeters is. So let's go right to the edge of that. I'm like ninety nine percent sure that's. Uh, 8 by 170. Uh, I'm not the best for the tape measure. Let's and look up. I know they're not 8 by 6.5. I've measured that before. You're supposed to go from center to middle. That's that's center. Middle is right there, which is six and a quarter. It's like dead on six and a quarter. What would that be? What is? 6.75 millimeters. 
yeah, they're 8x170 all day. And I didn't have the right adapters, that's what it was. Which sucks. And I just, I'll show you guys what I just looked up. So, I looked up 6 point, come on, camera. I looked up 6.75 inches to millimeters. It's 1.71 millimeters. So I'm guessing I'm just a hair off with measuring these. And they're 8 by 170 So the die didn't have the right adapters. I was really hoping that the, the rims were the wrong size, not those adapters being the wrong size. Because this means now we have to wait a week for adapters to come in because he didn't have the right adapters. I'm pretty sure he had 8 by 180 uh, adapters because they were bigger than what these were. That's why we were guessing they, they these... Ugh, bleh, English. That's why we were guessing these were 8x6.5 because he said they those were 8x170 and they were really 8x180 because they were bigger than 8x170. Well, since we put the 40s up next to the truck when we got rid of them, I figured I'd put the 42s up next to it. And my lord, that is a massive difference. And these aren't completely full trail. Like I said earlier, I think these are about 40%. I wouldn't say they're 50, I'd say they're right below 50. I think there might be one in here that's 50. I think that one, that one right there, and that one right there might be 50. But I think that one and this one are right around 40. This side of the tread's lower, so. Oh. If you guys can, uh, can rack up my, my channel some and get some more ad revenue rolling in, I'll put some 20 by 14s on these, but as of right now, these are the wheels that are going to be sticking on it. I'm going to clean up the face of them, maybe try and find the center caps for them or something like that. The wheels are a little bit beat up. You can tell that these were used to rock crawl. Look at this one. You back up. It doesn't even look like it'll fit in that fender wheel. So uh, if you guys can get like this video to like 100 likes or something like that, I'll order some adapters and uh, put those on the Chevy. Probably won't be able to turn, probably won't fit, but we'll try it. Now this is what you call sitting on the back tire. I mean, I can't even, can't even get my damn hand in there. It's like halfway up the bed, you see that? Now guys, we done, we done put up next to the truck. I mean, it's not an accurate representation right now because it's on, on stock wheels, so it's sitting a lot lower. So once those adapters come in, we can jack it up, put them on, put one on at a time, and uh, it'll look a whole lot different on 42s. Now you guys were probably thinking that, Aaron, that truck barely cleared 40s, you're not going to clear 42s. You're right, because it's not going to clear it right now. Um, I'm ordering everything else later this week to finish lifting the front of this. Um, I say the front, I'm not going full like toot or anything like that. It is going to be tooted for like the first like couple videos just because I have to get custom blocks for the back. I just, I need to get this truck tagged and titled and it has to go to the transmission shop before I do that and it has to be drivable to go to the transmission shop so he can test drive it and right now there's no shocks in the front and I don't want to buy shocks until I finish lifting the front so I don't have to buy another set of shocks I hope that made sense to you guys so I'm ordering everything to lift it this week and then hopefully it'll all be in either next weekend or the weekend after that you guys will probably see it in the next like three or four videos I had to guess. Uh, it's not going to be in the next one or two. Uh, we're going to have to do... Holy wind! I know y'all can see my shirt. Um, we're going to have to do some other stuff until we get everything in to lift it. But for now, uh, I'm going to order the adapters in the next couple minutes. They'll be here this week. We'll throw them on just for you guys. And then once everything comes in to lift it, We'll do all that. Uh, I want it to be closer to like 18 to 20 inches of lift in total. I want it to completely tower these 42s. I want to be able to throw like 52 inch, uh, like the military good years or whatever. I want to be able to throw those on this and still be completely fine to drive. So this thing's gonna get huge in the next, that's, I'd say a couple months. Uh, in the next couple weeks, it's gonna get pretty big. It's gonna clear these 42s no problem. But then, then we're gonna go higher. Now these two wheels right here are the only ones that aren't missing a single one of these things. Uh, this one is missing three. See right there? It's missing three. And this one is missing one. 
like I said, I'm not really worried about these wheels. These, uh, I've mainly bought these for the tires. Because I paid $850 for these. Which is like a killer deal. Um, buying adapters for $110 off eBay. They're not gonna be super like fancy adapters. Like my luck, they'll probably end up breaking and messing something up, just being honest. But I'm cheaping out because I don't wanna spend three or $400 on adapters right now. Don't have the money to spend it. So we're gonna go a little bit cheaper, just buy some eBay ones. And we're gonna torque everything down and just just send it, I guess. That's that's really all for this video. I don't know how long this video is just because things didn't really go as planned. Uh, I really thought I was going to get adapters and we could come home and throw them on the truck, but we weren't able to do that. So I'm gonna have to close this video out and I'll have to pick you guys back up once we get the adapters in and we can put them on this truck. So I wanna thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like. If uh, you feel bad that all the crap I went through today and I wasted two hours of driving, drop a like. Uh, hit that subscribe button, guys. We upload twice a week and I got more coming at you. So I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.